And, and then we'll be making another round of mochi, so just pace yourself, okay? <laughs> a community center in Madison Heights. This is a Japanese mochi suki New Year's celebration, Detroit style. Put on some gloves and roll. Members of the Japanese American Citizens League are making and eating mochi made from a gooey rice paste. We created a lot of different ways to have it. We have it. Uh, the way I grew up eating it was with shoyu and sugar. Shoyu, that's soy sauce. Fried, and I have a frying pan actually, so if you want to fry some. We have hinako, uh, the, the uh, soybean flour with sugar and a little salt, and you roll it in there. One thing I remember is because it, it stretches, if you pull it, and it, I, th I think it has something to do with the longevity of your life. It's, but my memory is kind of fuzzy, so... Mochi suki goes back a thousand years. In Japan, the celebration can go all day. The rice cakes take center stage to music and activities for the kids. The rice harvest is in the fall, right? So, and then the celebration of New Year's is a big deal. So I, I think that's kind of related to it too. Is it good? Very good. I'm uh, very fond of mochi. Like lutefisk in Sweden, or the fruitcakes of the Western world, mochi returns every holiday season. Some love it, some don't. Can you make this size of mochi? Oh yeah, okay. But with mochi, it's not just the texture, but the danger. A choking hazard if you're not careful. Chew it good. Big pie? Chew it good. <laughs> oh, chew it good. Huh? <laughs> I've never had it like this before. This oh, why don't you have it in the soup? Me. Well, this is ozoni. This is the uh, New Year's soup. That um, and it has a lot of it has carrots and tofu <laughs> and fish cake and lotus root. The mochi sits in the bowl like a matzo ball. This is just the second year the Citizens League has held Mochi Suki in Detroit, even though the group has been here more than 70 years. And it started out as a support group of obviously Japanese Americans, and it turned into a more of a civil rights focus organization, and we have chapters everywhere, including obviously here in Detroit. The Detroit chapter started when a lot of people who came out of the camp relocated to Detroit, and at its peak, I understand there were about 400 members. Mary Kamidoy was born in California, held in an internment camp in Arkansas during World War II. She's long retired from Ford Motor Company, but remembers Mochi Suki as a child. All the time that we were making mochi, the kids just played around with it. Our parents made it every year and had friends come over. And so, you know, and I'm one of these, I didn't eat it, I didn't like it. So I crabbed every time we were molding the thing, ma! I don't even eat the thing. Why do I have to come home and do this? She said, Mary, just keep molding it. Molding mochi, that's the easy part. You need people to pound the rice, swinging a big mallet over and over again. For you to pound, that's a job. It's like my dad used to say, if you don't pound right, you will hurt your back. And then the one that had to turn it, if you don't time it right, the mallet will come down on your hand or your head. Technology to the rescue, the mochi-making machine. Mary's brother-in-law found one in Los Angeles. He brought it home, and my sister said, come on over, you got to see this machine, Mary. It's really funny. This one just works all the It steams, and when it's ready, the pounding starts. The other two, you have to push the button. <laughs> I've always been saying, I would say it to my mom, why is it Japan hasn't made a machine so that the, the mochi comes out in like this, you know, out of it, and it cuts off at a certain Mary, then there'd be no fun to this. Because see, these machines, the way they're cutting it, it's a mess. Yeah. But you like to eat it now, though, huh? Not really. I will eat one or two, but that's it. Not because I like it so well. I just eat it because it's just custom. What are you going to do with that, buddy? You know, after a while, when you don't have it, you sort of miss it. 